Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord wherever you are. It is a beautiful, beautiful day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. We are officially, my dear friends, in the month of June. Thanking God for how far he has brought us and believing him even more for where we are going, my dear friends. Remember, you've been building a theme for each and every month, and today is no different. The month of June, you're talking about staying connected. Staying connected, you know. And we have been moving on through, as you've seen, you know, you've had deeper intimacy with the Lord, you know, the heart of the Father. We have been building all through because remember, we're in a journey to foster and strengthen our relationship with God because He is more to us than everything that we will ever need. And today, my dear friends, as we begin staying connected with Him, we are going to talk about, um, you know, um, in, in, the, in the theme for today, which is staying connected with Him. The main topic today is, I gain from this connection. I gain from this conne connection. Now, the truth and the reality of our walk with God is that there has to be a, a yielding to receive that which He has. There always has to be a yielding. And you have to trust that whatever you are yielding to Him, you end up benefiting more by yielding it. When you stay connected to God, you don't stay connected to God um, the way that, um, uh, if I can get the, the language right, is that you come as you are, but you don't stay as you are because God keeps on fashioning you and molding you to keep on advancing and correcting um, the way you live, the way you look at things, your perspective, your mindset, your heart, everything. He keeps on setting you, forming you, directing you as you continue. We always say that we come as we are, but over time we end up in life that we can't stay as we are. The connection with God is so powerful because the connection with God comes stronger when I have chosen to let go of some things that I may gain what he has for me. I love saying this, that when I choose to let go of my life, that I may gain hold of his life. But the mindset here and the shift today this morning, my, my dear friends, is are you willing to let go? Are you willing to yield control? Are you willing to yield your ideologies and your mindset? Are you willing to yield your own targets and say, Lord, I'll yield mine for yours? I'm not saying that I'm living a life that is haphazard. I'm saying, no, I'm living a spiritual, strategic life. Galatians 5.16, the Passion Translation says this. As you yield freely and fully to the dynamic life and power of the Holy Spirit, you will abandon the cravings of your self-life. As you yield freely and fully, without being forced, without being coerced. But I'm saying I'm choosing to stay connected. God, you've done enough, I'll stay connected. I will let go. I will let go of who I am, that I may realize who you want me to be. I will let go of where I am, that you may lead me to where you want me to be. I'm saying that I'm choosing to let go. One of the hardest things I've seen in my journey with the Lord and doing, doing ministry, all these years that I've done ministry, is whenever you find someone who is unwilling to yield their own life, they still want to be rigid as God is molding them. They want to be rigid and they want God to work in them. They're willing to, to lie even as to how well things are, how connected they are. Yet in truth, we all need deeper connection with Him. My dear friends, the Bible says as you feel freely, you yield freely your dreams, your pain, your frustration, your children, whatever it is, and fully to, and, you know, and, and yield full to the dynamic power of the Holy Spirit, you will abandon the cravings of your self-life. In other words, the more connected you are to God, the less, the less, my dear friend, the enemy has control over your own life. Because whenever we are connected to the Lord, He guides us to what our hearts desire. He guides us to what we need from Him. And when He guides us to what we need from Him, him my dear friends, the theme for today is you benefit. I gain from this connection. So today, my friends, I'm praying for you, wherever you are, that you remember you gain from this connection. But when you are yielding your life for his life, when you are yielding your ideas for his ideas, you are yielding what you have for what he has, you gain. It is better with God. With God, we don't go on a loss. We always gain with him. So let go of your family. Let God take care of it. Let go of your desires. Let God lead them. Let go of your finances. Let God lead them. You gain more with him. That's a very powerful mindset to have. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the gift of life, the gift of your Holy Spirit and the fellowship you've given us. Father, it is a new month. And this new month, Lord, I pray that you may guide your brother, my, that Father, you may guide your sons and daughters today, Lord. That Lord, as they experience the power of the Holy Spirit, as they experience the strength of the Holy Spirit, may they also experience, Almighty Father, the benefit of being with you. But Lord, may they have a gain today. 
May they gain in their relationships. May they gain in their investments, in their quest. I speak, Almighty Father, are gaining in their lives simply because they are connected to you, Lord. May they gain victory, Lord. May they gain understanding. May they gain wisdom. May they gain open doors that no man can close, Lord. May they gain all things through you. Because, Father, you're more than faithful to do it. I bless you, Father, and I worship you. I glorify you and I lift you. Because you are faithful in all of your ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do stay blessed, my, my brothers and sisters. Have a wonderful day. See you again next time. Same time. Remember, you gain with him.